Despite my modest rank, I was the squadron's air intelligence officer. My responsibilities made me the custodian of our top-secret documents, our deployment orders in the event of war. Those orders were periodically updated, and when they were, a senior staff officer from fleet headquarters, always accompanied by an armed Marine, arrived with a sealed envelope. A ritual followed. I signed for the new envelope, and he signed for the envelope that I removed from my top-secret safe, a miniature vault embedded in my large office safe. Except on these occasions, this inner sanctum was never unlocked. I had no expectation of ever learning what was in those envelopes. Clippings from the New York Times, we joked, since they would be opened only in the event of a national emergency. On a date in mid-October that I cannot recall, I was informed by telephone that a new envelope would arrive at an appointed time. This was soon after I received the disappointing news that an around-the-world flight I was scheduled to co-navigate for an admiral was canceled. Within days, all leaves were revoked. According to rumors at our local hangout, the Mexican village, the cause was rising tensions in Berlin. Although we were on the West Coast, a sense of being engaged in an international crisis permeated my squadron's ranks. Extra munitions and weapons we had never before stored were delivered to our hangars. Friends at El Toro, the Marine Corps air station north of San Diego, told me that Marines in full battle gear were being flown east aboard military air transports. Something important was happening, and we were going to be part of it. On Monday, October 22nd, before President Kennedy informed the world that he had ordered Cuba blockaded, I was directed to retrieve the top-secret plans from my safe and deliver them, with the obligatory armed Marine escort, to my commanding officer. Our squadron's senior staff, the captain, the executive officer, and the operations officer, had assembled in the captain's office to review the war plans. My recollection is that we would deploy to an airfield in Baja, California, Mexico. The rationale was to disperse military aircraft beyond the reach of Soviet missiles. Some junior officers, all of us bachelors, joked that the beaches of Baja would be a delightful place to die. I did not know, until I researched this book, how close to death we had come. <laughs>